Hey everybody, it's Andrea. Um, welcome to another video. I know that's crazy that I really did post three videos this week. I'm hoping to do like a little schedule video thing. So this week I did Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Next week I'm planning to do Tuesday and Thursday just because next week is 4th of July, which is my grandpa's birthday. Then July 5th is my dad's birthday. Then July 6th is a very special day because he is officially recovered by that day. So very busy week. So I will be doing upload on Tuesday and Thursday. If you want to stay updated, make sure to go follow my Instagram. And yeah, I'll actually also be eating Carl's Jr. <laughs> because I'm finally getting the chance to eat right now. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, while I open this Chick-fil-A sauce, I know someone's gonna be like, girl, didn't she say you're eating Carl's Jr.? I am, but I prefer Chick-fil-A sauce with absolutely everybody's fries. So I always save a sauce when my man brings me food. I am doing a girl talk. So if you're a guy, get off this video. No, I'm just kidding. It's really not that deep. But yeah, anyways, oh, girl talk and business advice because I think for me right now, both go hand in hand. So yeah. So I'm going to start off with the first question, which is how do I become confident? Honestly, I think it's kind of one of those things that you got to fake it till you make it. I faked it till I made it, right? I think back then I was low-key super insecure. Um, I think anywhere from like sophomore year until probably till like towards the end of senior year, I was so insecure about myself. I did not like how I looked. When I was a sophomore, I was so skinny that like my body, I just felt like, no, it was not it for me, right? I didn't like how I looked because even though I was so skinny in my eyes, I would look and I swear I was fat even though I wasn't um and then like junior year I started gaining weight senior year I was like I gained my my full weight to my potential right this is how much I weigh now I got a loose ass shirt right now so I like bigger but um yeah I felt super uncomfortable because my body was constantly changing um now I would say I feel a lot more confident with myself and the way I look because one I, I faked it till I made it Two, I realized that inner beauty is a lot more important than outer beauty because I know some really beautiful people, but they're really rotten on the inside. And I was like, damn, like you thought, you know? Um, but I definitely think that the way you can make yourself be more confident, I mean, this is kind of what helped me in a certain sense was accepting myself, knowing that I'm my best me always. And if I'm not, I can work on that. And also the fact that I started doing my makeup and like doing my hair and actually getting ready and that itself helped me be a lot more confident in myself. I like get myself ready. I put on some bomb ass music that makes me feel hella good. Take some pictures, some videos, and then I feel great about myself for like the rest of the week. Someone asked me what my favorite place to shop is and I'm gonna tell you right now, jeans. It's always Fashion Nova. I don't care what anybody says about Fashion Nova. I love them for their jeans because that's what looks good on my body, right? Um, tops, other accessories, other clothing pieces. I kind of wherever. I just kind of see what looks cute. If I find something cute anywhere, anywhere, Hollister, Old Navy, literally anywhere, I'll buy it. And as for shoes, I'm not really like a big sneakerhead. I kind of just stick with bands because they're comfortable easy to put on, go with everything. Uh, white bands are my usually go-to. Something else that I really wanted to talk about was um, how to feel comfortable in your own body. That goes hand in hand with how to be confident, how to make it, you know? Um, first of all, if you have already gone through so many changes with your body, it's okay, your body is gonna be constantly changing. You know, you could have your like adult body and even then you're going to go through changes constantly because the body is changing evolving worsening whatever the situation is you're going to be changing constantly so don't beat yourself up over it i didn't even say what my order was but i got the six piece chicken stars combo with waffle fries and or chris cut fries and a strawberry panta
relaxed girl talk moment um next will be business talk business advice it was how do i deal with fake friends the real answer is i don't cut off completely i have had my fair share of friends and if i'm being honest the ones that i definitely consider were fake um i knew they were fake from the start it was one of those things where it was just like oh, i'll hang in there see how things go i think that's what bothers me the most that i knew they were fake from the start and i let myself trust them but let me tell you the second people start acting shady or weird towards you take that as a sign to just distance yourself or get away from that situation because i can tell you right now that i had like three situations where i thought like these people are my best friend this girl is my best friend and they were not at all behind my back they would go and say things that were super out of pocket and then expect me to be okay with it which was weird as fuck like no and I had another situation where I really thought like hey I'm so glad to be friends with this person you know whatever again then they started acting weird and then I physically could not be around them because it was starting to turn into something really ugly and really bad so i cut them off right away and we ended up on bad terms because of them but i mean like by all means necessary i'm gonna protect my peace and my mental health over trying to deal with people who don't give a fuck about me like really don't care so yeah keep your distance you know they're being kind of weird you know they're talking behind your back don't pay any mind to it just i don't want to say let it go but distance yourself the most you can if you're in the same friend group try not to be around them as much of course that's hard when you're in the same friend group but distance yourself there's no reason you need to be besties with everybody in that group okay business talk time business advice i don't know i guess it's more talk than advice but still so i was asked first of all what is something that i've done in my business that i regret honestly i regret spending money on things that i didn't need like products that i wasn't necessarily asked for but i was like i want to do it i want that so i regret doing that first of all um second of all i regret assuming that certain people would support my business and if you don't know i had a lash business prior to this right now i have my envy me vault brand which is rhinestone hoodies and um a treat business so this is more based off like maybe prior and current business so yeah i don't know i just really regret like also assuming you know like how I said that people would support me and having it be complete strangers that ended up supporting me the most. I also really regret rushing my business instead of just being patient and taking time because I think because I rushed everything, I assumed I would get hella orders and obviously I didn't, not right away. So I definitely regret that. I also got a question about how I track my money and I actually track it all on my notes app because it's the most accessible and I have to keep going and looking like at another notebook or something so my notes app definitely has that information and I split up my money like in three right so let's say I got a hundred dollar order let's just say right I put thirty dollars in my savings thirty dollars in my wants thirty dollars in my needs that's how I split up my 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 business my money right so my needs it's like online payments and business right my wants is like when i go out and i'm gonna pay for food or clothes and then my savings well right now i'm looking to save towards like a macbook a laptop um a car and a storefront so that's kind of how i split it up and it's been really efficient high key it's been really good and then like those extra ten dollars from that a hundred dollars that i split the 90 up uh sometimes i'll put it in my savings if i know i'm gonna be busy and i want to go out i'll put it in my wants or if i know i have more online payments i will put it into my needs the next question was how do i start a small business 
first and foremost, I'd say look into what kind of business you want to have or what services you want to provide. And then from there, make sure you do your research on the type of business or like I said, services you want to provide. Make sure you can do it. Make sure you know where to buy your supplies and then set a budget. Always set a budget because you do not want to be spending stuff on things you don't need right away. So set a budget. Then this is this is kind of how I went about it. Open a social media account. So if you're TikTok based, do it on TikTok. If you're Instagram based, do it on Instagram. That whole thing. Open up an account and start publishing, start getting followers, you know, post what you're trying to do before you do it. So people can start getting excited about what you're going to do. And I think eventually you should for sure obviously buy supplies buy what's necessary though buy the necessities don't go and just buy a bunch of random things that you know you're not going to use or you're not going to need just because you think it's cute don't waste hella money on disposable items or packaging of course it's cute you want to make your stuff look great and that's fine but don't overdo it don't waste on that just yet because at the end of the day, if it doesn't go the way you want it to, you might end up with a bunch of random supplies, to be honest, that you're probably never going to use or even need. Also, if you're starting your own business, I just want to say, be patient and don't feel sad. <laughs> don't be sad if all these people who said they were going to support you didn't. I mean, a lot of people will say, yes, do it. And then they won't even like your post. They won't even follow you. They will for sure not even pay for your services or buy whatever you're selling. So don't feel sad about it. Your target audience will get there eventually. Always, always try to have patience and know that your time will come and you just got to be consistent and work your ass off to get there. For now, I think that's it. Just wanted to bring out a short video because I am going to be super busy this weekend and I have an appointment tomorrow that I've been really dreading to go. Like I literally already rescheduled for this Friday and I know at this point it's like I just have to go and get it done. <laughs> but I really don't want to go. It's at a doctor's office so I just don't want to go. I have anxiety over it. So this video is definitely a lot shorter because... I spent most of my day hella nervous, like just hella scared for no reason because I literally go every three months, yet for some reason, the day before, sometimes even the days before, if I'm not busy, I'm just thinking like, oh my gosh, what if I get anxiety? What if I get a panic attack? You know, and it's like, bitch, I'm most likely not going to get a panic attack, anxiety probably, but a panic attack, like let's be for real. And even if I did, so what? I will literally cry so bad. But I'm going to go to my appointment and I'm just going to do it and get over with it. So yeah, so that's why my video is a lot shorter today because I need to go to sleep a lot earlier. And last time when I tried to post this video, like the last video, I literally stayed up trying to get it to like upload so I could have it scheduled to post at 12 and it would not upload. I fell asleep, woke up at 3am and it was still not uploaded. It wasn't even processing yet. So Hopefully I don't have that mistake right now. It's already about to be like nine. So I gotta like edit right now. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry for my little rant. Next week, I'm looking at something a little more exciting than me just being in my room. Um, just quick disclaimer, I have anxiety. So I really try not to go out, which sucks, but Next week is going to be busy, so I will for sure have a lot better content, content next week. So anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Give it a like, subscribe, and turn your post notifications on so you know when I post. But I'm trying to post, like, like I said, next week, Tuesday, Thursday, both at 12 p.m. So yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed. Bye!